I was trying to figure out a, a, a title, a topic for the thing, something like, uh, you know, know your audience or something like that. But um, let me just delve into it. And I'll figure out something that I'll write in the title anyway. Here's the thing. There's a, so, the last few weeks, there's been a couple of things. There have been things happening with the celebrity world, you know. And we're not going to just, let me just put, put it this way. There's like, you no, know, you everybody knows Kanye did this whole thing about slavery and blah, 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 blah you know. Because and then he, then the, uh, the, 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 uh, the Owens woman, you know, j jumped in and said, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And she had made a speech and said, you all need to get over this racial, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. She, of course, she doesn't know what she's talking about. She's a darling of the of the um, you know white conservatives you know people who, uh, who always bring out these points to, to Thomas Sewell's you know they have a long history of these folks like that anyway of course she doesn't she didn't bring up anything about redlining or Jim Crow or, or lynchings or you know any anything that makes any any sense as far as economics and and why black people uh, did struggle and how it, after 1965 you know they let everybody else in to take away the power black she she, she doesn't mention all that stuff of course Kanye doesn't know because he doesn't read and he's not surrounded by people who who know anything let me put it that way if they do know anything he's not they're not filtering into him which goes to my which goes to this point see that the, the one of the biggest problems is like who is in control who is the gatekeeper now if you're getting your, if, if you if for instance you're, you're a young person you're getting your information from uh from uh, kanye and he's your gate he's basically you you get information but he's getting information from someplace else where he's getting from but that person who's feeding that information that's the gatekeeper that's the person that you know, that's given information that he's putting out to the public because he's a public figure, blah, 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 blah. Now, what's interesting is that I think that after a while, the public is tired of, of, of people who are disingenuous. Well, I'm sorry, that's not true. He's not disingenuous. He's probably very authentic with what he's doing. But they get tired of people not going going beyond their initial statements, you know, to, to, to clarify, or when I say clarify, not clarify as defend, but clarify as to say, okay, I hear the, all these points. Let me research this point. Let's see if they're correct or whatever it is. So they don't do that. But however, I think that people are going to get tired of Kanye because there's a new kid on the block, you know, somebody else who has celebrity that also has a consciousness. And from what I understand, there's, there's, little, there's, there's these little groups that are, that are coming up and they're getting information from other places, not just getting information from their, their white benefactors or, you know, whoever's paying their bill or, or, or whatever the deal is, you know? And that's uh, one Donald Glover, you know, the next, the next uh, 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 um, cat that's gonna be, uh, uh, you, you all know, you know Billy, Billy D. Williams was a uh, uh, Lando Calrissian, you know, from, you know, Lando, you know, uh, uh, from Star Wars. Well, Donald Glover's going to play him as a, as a younger person in a new solo movie. But he has a lot of other things happening. You know, he's writing books. He's got a TV series, you know, and, you know, sort of well, independent TV series. Uh, he does his, he does his uh, 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 Childish Gambino thing, which means he's also a musician. So he has these things to, to do, right? And so when, so when, so, and one of the things that happened, let me just say this real quick, is that he was supposed to do an animated uh, cartoon of of, uh, of Deadpool, and the and the powers that be, the gatekeepers, they nix it. No, 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 we don't, we don't, uh, no, you're not going the same direction we want it to go. Though you're the creator, we're the gatekeepers, or you know, we're the one that's financing. So you got to do what we say. So he said, Nah, forget it. We ain't doing that. <laughs> you know. So he, because he has these other things to do, he doesn't have to worry about that. And plus, the fans came and said, Hey, yeah, what's going on here? So people are understanding about this whole thing about who controls your controls your stuff. You're big back to the Donald Glover. He just put out this thing. Up, this is America. A wonderful. Uh, I call it. I call it performance art. Now, I remember I, one, of my, one of the things I did uh, in the early 80s, I did performance arts a bit, and I knew a lot of performance artists. You know, performance arts like a, you know, Sandra Bernhardt, uh, like a, a Blue Man Group, the performance art. It, 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 it's, it's a fact, uh, who is, who does, Eric Badu, Eric Badu did this one, I think with all this blood and everything like that, did, did this whole very interesting track. It was performance art, so he's a musician, but it's performance art. So I look at this Donald Glover thing that he just did, a performance art. If you haven't seen the video of uh, This Is America, go see it, uh, you know, watch it a couple of times. I didn't watch it a couple of times, uh, you know, whatever, but, you know, and, and a few times and, and see, see what's going on. Anyway, what's interesting is that it's, it's so powerful, it's so unapologetically uh, uh, what he wants as an artist, what he wants, that it's like, whoa, it just blows you away. Even if you don't even understand what's going on, it just blows you away. But my hope, and what I, what I realized in watching this thing, but he wasn't actually talking, you know, like, 
to my generation, older generation, he was actually talking to just uh, some kids running around, you know, like a multi-racial kind of kids running around, all dark, uh, non-white, you know, kids running around in a circle around him, him dancing, you know, and they're very good, and they all dressed in uniforms, uh, like, 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 like school uniforms, which is a whole other racket, I won't get into that right now. Uh, but anyway, uh, as they're circling around and doing this dance, whatever have you, then this whole, all this chaos that happens in the background as far as reality of American life and, you know, black life and all the rest of stuff is, is happening all around. It's very deep and very moving um, video. So if you can see it, please, please, please do it. But it's, it's, it, it says to me, it's interesting enough, I think that Donald Glover is doing what, all, what a lot of musicians do. His, or his core audience, you know, even though you can watch it, anybody in the world can watch it, but who is your audience? His core audience is like every other uh, musician's audience. The, 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 the record buying public, or used to be, I'm used to this, is from about 13 to 25, 13 to 30. You know, so that's his. That's who he's talking to. He's not talking to old heads like me. He's not talking to all these consciousness people or all these other people, all these other celebrities. He's he has his thing that he's doing, and and I really respect him because I like I look at the way he dresses and everything like that. He's not trying to perpetrate, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, a puff daddy image or whatever have you. And his empire is going to be vast because he's owning everything, really owning everything. So I'm very excited that that, that the uh, black celebrity or black community has a new celebrity to look at. It's a lot deeper than the celebrities that uh, that we have been looking at. Now, when I say deep, I mean there's sort of these big people who know, who is in the arts that know stuff. There's a lot of going back from, you know, uh, everybody from from the, 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 the original Last Poets, you know, Gil Scott, all the way up to wherever, you know. In fact, even there's, I'm sorry, I have to go off one more, as I usually do, one more thing. What I find most interesting, he's, he's singing this 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 song, that the, the words, they don't really mean a whole lot. But it's, that reminds me of like scat singing, you know? So this whole thing is about feelings and about art, you know, it's about dance, it's about a bunch of images or whatever have you. It's not really about the words that you hear. In fact, the words that you only have to hear is, this is America, that's it. So anyway, hats off, um, you know, whatever, to uh, to Donald Glover and, 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 and his help, his trajectory, and he's insulated enough that people will you know, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll push him and, and, and start following him and, and just leave these other folks, these, these folks that keep on being apologetic to the system of, uh, of Anglo-racist uh, white America, uh, uh, well, just basically Anglo-racist white supremacy, I should say, the system of Anglo-racist white supremacy. That's what people are feeding into it. And it doesn't seem like Donald Glover is feeding into it like that. He's trying to destroy it. And I think that anybody who is doing anything on this planet today, whether you, whatever stripe you are, your, your main mission is to destroy the system. Notice what I say, the system of Anglo-racist white supremacy. And when I say Anglo racist system, I mean that you can say that I'm, I say Anglo and then racist white supremacy. You can take the Anglo and you can say you can say the system of uh, of black racist white supremacy, the system of Latino racist white supremacy, the system of Chinese racist white supremacy, the system. Whatever you want to put in there, you can put in there with that first thing. You know, if it's Anglo, it's Anglo. But anybody can, you know, African racist white supremacy. Anybody can be that first thing. But if, if, if you don't, want, but, but, but you know, you, every, you, that's what you identify with, but not everybody can be, uh, can, can, needs to be this other thing, but we feed into the system that makes you be these other things. Whew. I'm sorry, that's a long thing, but I just had to do it and be with you all a while, so just let me let it out. Okay, that's, that's it for me. T from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. <laughs>